Hello everybody, this is Bergback coming to you with another StarCraft 2 commentary. And we are in game two of a round of five between Sock spawning as the teal Protoss and his opponent, Tarson, spawning as the purple Terran. Good thing I didn't say purple Protoss there. And of course this is game two, Sock winning game one here. Uh, that was on Scrap Station. We are on Lost Temple right now, and uh, spawning on the same side of the map, so to speak. I usually term that because of this water going through the middle of the map here. So we are going to see a little bit shorter of a distance between the two here. And we did see Sock in game one just get his expansions out, and what really saves him were carriers coming in on those marauders that uh, Tarson had, and also the uh, the fact that he had Templar come out as well, and those storms really ate through uh, Tarson's bio ball. Because all Tarson really had, and he really committed to this, was that Marauder Marine uh, medivac stuff. And you know, the the as long as Sock was good on the storm locations, he ripped Tarson's army to shreds. So we might, will we see that? I'm not sure if we'll see that again on here. I'm not sure if Tarson is into multifaceted gameplay yet. We'll see. He's, I mean, he's a really great Terran player. Uh, we'll see if he changes it up a little bit. And it looks like Sock just going for the same plan as he did last time. And it looks like Tarson going with the same beginning build order here, going with that supply depot first and then going with that racks. And it looks like just a little dance of, uh, of probe and SCV going on here as Tarson is finally going out for that search. And it looks like he's going over here first. It looks like he'll be uh, spotting Sock really slowly here. So it's Sock getting the advantage yet again on the, the scouting. So by the time Tarson gets to his base, he'll probably have some wall up here with units. But oh no, it doesn't look like that. It looks like, uh, looks, wow, looks like Tarson going or uh, Sock going for the jugular here and, and starting to bring his zealots right into Tarson's base right away. Of course, there's no wall off here, so Tar uh, Sock will be able to get up right away, and that as uh, that marine going after that probe right away as well, taking that probe down. No more vision here for Sock. And it looks like uh, going for that early expansion here, just building it right down here, going full throttle, and uh, we do have two Marines down already. And this, this Zealot starting to come in here, starting to scrape against against Tarson's Marines, going after the SCV for slowing that, that command center from being built right away. And as we look here, we do have a little bit of HP left on the Zealot, just kind of running around, trying to slow this command center down as much as possible, but it looks like that Zealot's going to be going down as these three... Oh no, it does live! But another Zealot coming in here to, uh, to wreak havoc. So we now have two Zealots in here going against three Marines, and one Marine going down, the other... Oh, Bunker almost getting built there, as uh, Tarson is in a little bit of pressure here as that one Zealot goes down, but we keep having, and we now have a Stalker coming up into the field here. Oh, is that one Zealot going down? One Stalker left here, trying to take out what he can here, taking out another Marine, and I should have the production tab up so you guys can at least see what's coming. We do see a Robo Facility coming down for Sock. So we might see, see, be seeing some Immortals coming down. Of course, Sock not be able to see what's going on here, but we do have two racks, more racks coming down uh, in production here and just pumping out Marines like crazy. We do have a bunker here, so we're just reinforcing this expansion here a little bit. So it looks like Tarson going into a semi-build of what he had last time. Uh, just no factory down yet. And that command center still being built here. So we do see pretty standard here from Sock. He is a little behind just because he kept being a little aggressive with his units. And we do see here three Stalkers coming up with a full bunker here. Of course, the range being really well here for those Marines, able to really pick off these Stalkers if they wanted to, if Sock would still be in there. And we do see another Rax coming down for Tarson here. So he's really going heavy on a massive Marine build. But we do see a Tech Lab coming down, so we'll probably see some Marauders coming out as well. Now that is a good, substantial force of Marines here. So it looks like he's tr Sock's trying to pull out these Marines that are not in the bunker yet. 
we do see a robotics facility coming down as well. So dare I say we will see some uh, some Colossus come out as well. Yeah, the first Colossus starting to come out. And still, the, Col the Colossi uh, rallied right up here with the, ro uh, with the Stalkers. And that's pretty much all we see out coming out for uh, for Sock right now. And we see another bunker starting to come up as well as he's defending it with these Marines. Look at these massive amount of Marines here. And we're going with the Thermal Lance as well. Very good plan here for uh, for Sock as he uh, needs that extra range, especially with these Marines. Those Colossi not standing a chance uh, if he wants to do anything. And we do see a Reaper coming out as well. Interesting to see what he does with those Reapers. And a Zella just kind of coming in here, trying to say, hey, what are we going to do, guys? Where are y'all going? As these Stalkers run away <laughs> and leave that Zealot out there to kind of just sit pretty. And a nice little pylon out here on the other side on the high ground-ish area just to, to kind of spawn in some more units here. That Colossi, oh, look at this really good play from, from the Colossi just coming up here on behind. Going to try and take out as many SCVs as possible from here. Just coming down, just having that little extra bit. And it looks like his uh, Marines and Marauder not really doing a whole lot here. Just kind of backing off as he starts going after this Orbital Command. It would probably be a good idea to raise that Orbital Command, or yeah, raise that Orbital Command. Uh, so it doesn't take any more damage. As we see this Colossi just going to town here and starting to bring in those Marauders and those Marines. So, getting the high ground advantage again, just pulling back, pushing up, just playing a little bit of a, a little dance between the two here. Just trying to use this Colossi to take down what he can. And again, more uh, SCVs coming out and just training them to go up into this area here until he can get control of this area once again. And down below here, we do see a Reaper just kind of waiting there. Oh, he, we did have some harassment here, but a Stalker did take care of that. And the Marines and Marauders coming out, starting to push out against Sock here, as Sock is uh, surrounding with the Colossi. And it looks like these Marauders are going to be going down to the light of these Colossus here. And uh, that one just running away. And... Uh, yeah, it's Sock now showing, putting the pressure on Tarson. Well, yet again, going to take down that Orbital Command. Oh, oh that's not good for uh, Tarson at all. And Tarson just starting to really feel the pain here. As Sock pushing in, taking down that one Colossus. I have that little high ground there for just a little bit until these these uh, these these Zealots, sorry, and, and Stalkers come out. I'm just getting into this game here a little bit, pulling all of his SCVs off the line, and his Reaper just kind of sitting down here too. And the Colossi gonna going down and these stalkers coming in to clean up what is left oh, looks like all the marauders gonna be taken down and just this little wolf with another colossi coming up into the main base oh i think tarson is uh definitely in a bad position here pulling that colossus back up bringing these stalkers up into the high ground stim packing what marauders he has left and not a whole lot of money here left for tarson as yeah tarson gging very good push here. All the whole game, Sock just putting the aggression on to Tarson's base. First, starting with those Zealots coming up, trying to get in here first, but of course being blocked by the Marines here. But just pushing in constantly. First with these Zealots, then with the Stalkers, and then pushing in with Colossi and just using this high ground to his advantage. You usually see high ground advantage being taken care of by, uh, say, a Terran, but good use of putting that Colossus up on the high ground, doing a, doing a lot of harassment to the expansion, just pushing uh, Tarson back over and over again here. So very well played here by Sock. As we go into Game 3, let's see if Tarson can push into a Game 4 and 5. So remember, make sure to subscribe down below, or make sure to subscribe if you like this video, and make sure to leave feedback or any kind of comments down below, and I will make sure to read them all, because I just love all of you. So, we'll be moving on to game number three.